Hari Om. Today we are going to see how to apply sacred ash. Okay. See, normally when you go to temple, we have to take sacred ash in this finger, the ring finger, and apply. Normally, this is how people do, like uh, a small line or the hole of the forehead. Some people, what they do is they take it, they lift it with their three fingers, the central three fingers, and smear it in their finger first, and then apply it either as three lines or as a like they paint a wall, they paint it fully. See, this normal applying of sacred ash as a line is common. This one is not, this is a temporary. Uh, this, this single line is a temporary uh, thing, this should not be followed always. People they just wear, when they go, they just wear a small line on their face and then go. We don't have to be that secular here. Okay. Next thing, this painting with the dry sacred ash, painting the dry sacred ash is not for people who have their parents alive. In the parampara, it is said only for the people who, whose parents are not alive they can apply for people who have their parents and others also who don't have their parents also have to apply it in this way you have to take some sacred ash in your hand okay in your left hand with your right hand and then apply some water to it okay now after applying water you have to make a taste so that it's easy for you to apply on your forehead and other parts so when you when you make the space you can chant either chant the om namah shivaya om namah shivaya is the simplest one okay om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya okay then you have to draw a om on it and then put a small dot on your forehead first okay then take up apply it in these three fingers the uh, the ring finger, the middle finger and the index finger, these three fingers and apply it from your left forehead to your right forehead. Okay, this is common for both men and women. This dot which we did, did which we put in the first place after writing home, this is a common thing which we call it as khandana. The, the sacred ash should be done khandana off according to the Shastra. In, in the Shaiva, Veera Shaiva Parampara, you can see it uh, like a like a sacred wearing lawn which some people wear like this, like a Nama, they wear like that. So this simple point or uh, dot is good enough. Now, for the others, meaning not for women, for the other men, this is the way. First, uh, put add some more water to your hand and then rub it nicely and then apply it on your hand joints, shoulder joints, okay. Then next is a, to your next joint in the hand. See it's like the, you, you are applying sacred ash to the joint, simple way to remember it, okay. Third, so six, three, three, six places including the forehead, seven places you have applied. Then some more up some more then one two three in the body three places one two three okay then finally I'm saying finally okay then finally again rub it on both your shoulders so twelve places one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, okay, 12 places. In some tradition, we don't follow that. In some tradition, they also wear it on the kneecap and on the top of your leg, okay, on both their uh, legs. So that is not what we do. We only apply it above the waist. For men, these 12 places, for women, only the forehead. At least this we have to do. This is the way to apply the sacred ash. You have to chant Om Namah Shivaya everywhere. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, 
Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. This is the common mantra which we can use, anyone can use. For people who have studied the Vedas and all that, they have to chant the Pancha Shiva Stotras, Shlokas, which we Satyo, Jada, Prabhupada, etc. For each phase, they have five mantras. So they have to chant those mantras while wearing this sacred ash. Hari Om.